I'm gonna tell y'all, man, we're gonna have to go. We're gonna have to holler at, uh, we're gonna have to holler at my boy Billy Thornton, man. He's supposed to be coming through too, so. What's good with y'all? What's good? What's good? y'all what's good what's good we tuning in for another video man y'all see we got playing today a little bit of everything man it been it been a lot of them days where we just got a lot going on cause it's a look at this sun sun just get dark but y'all know it's a lot of moving and shaking man we're trying to get stuff done man like it it ain't crunch time yet we still early in the year we about half time though but uh you know i'm trying to get stuff done man get stuff cracking and all that so today my guy Brady coming through. Don't panic customers to go ahead and pick up their quarter panel so we can get the moving on wife and money Carlos some more. Uh, that's all he needed. Uh, like I said, we're trying to get her a grill, man, some back order. We got underpinning going on. I'm going to show y'all that. Uh, we're going to pick up the cutlet. That's what we're about to do now. Wife is about to drop me off so I can bring the cutlet back home, rhythm and blues. Um, man, I got some of everything going on. Some of everything going on. And you know, we might we might call old Billy Thornton, man. We might see what Billy Thornton up to too, you know. All that, Mr. Jones, this killer right here, man. We're gonna call. Hey, his name is Killer right now. His name ain't even John Jones no more. His name is Killer. So y'all just call call on him Killer for right now. Killer, he kill he kills anybody named Michael Myers. So y'all know little Mikey, my bad, little Mikey. So this is Killer. Until further notice, it ain't John Jones Killer. But y'all see. Got this thing finally getting on the pen, man. Some good business. I'm gonna recommend them. I'm gonna go up there and holler at them, man. I'm gonna uh, recommend the car. I gotta give y'all the rundown on all this. I done went through. I done went through it trying to get somebody to do the underpin, man. And these guy right here is the truth. Getting it done. So you know we're gonna go up there. When I get back from getting the cutlass, I'm gonna show y'all everything how it coming along. Give y'all the contact information. Cause y'all know I always recommend y'all good people, man. From whether it's yard work or the cars and all of that, y'all know I'm gonna put y'all on game with the real people. If they ain't what they say they is, then you ain't gonna hear about them. They're just what it is. So I'm not putting y'all on no junk. I take the I take the hits. I take the hits if it happens, then I save y'all from taking the hits. So that's what it is, man. We about to go pick up rhythm and blues, uh, and then uh, we're gonna get back to the house and turn y'all back on. So I catch y'all in a minute. Y'all see it. Rhythm and Blues back. She back at home. A little light drive, man. I came straight back because, like I said, Brady on the way. Supposed to be on the way to get the quarter panel. So I want to be here when he get here. Then, you know, we got that. That's where they, that's where they at with, uh, with the underpinning. They're working. Like I said, man, they get done, we'll go up there and show it to y'all. See, we got the dents and all of that. Then they stuck on and ran and stuff, man. So it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice. Oh, rhythm and blues. You finna get some treatment. You finna get some treatment soon. I don't know when, but you're gonna get some treatment soon. Who knows? Who knows? So yeah, y'all, we're gonna wait on Brady to get here and all of that. Then this bad boy. We got to get this to the machine shop. Uh I might try to get it there this week. Nah, no, I take it back. I gotta get my rotating assembly. So I'm gonna order the rotating assembly, and then we're gonna go ahead and get this to the machine shop, and then just cover it up, man. See whatever happens. Like I said, I gotta pick a can shaft and all that. I ain't in no rush with all that. Cause we already got the top end. I'm gonna use the same top end. I'm gonna use the heads and all that stuff. But get the block, get the block done, clean. Uh, say rotating assembly so they can balance it. 
I'm gonna go ahead and say I am gonna turn into a stroker. I'm not trying to hide none because this is my be clean car. But it's all right like it is right now, so I'm just gonna get this done since I took it apart. And it's some content for y'all too, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy the stroker assembly wheel be forged this time. Uh it'll be set up for a blower. This this engine will be a blower motor. Blower motor, blower application, blower cam, blower pistons, everything set up for that blower. So if I want to run some boost, we can run some boost with peace of mind. Have the right head gaskets, much less steel gaskets, right ring gap, all of that good stuff. Right oiling and everything, man. So we're going to get the rotating assembly order when it comes. We'll take it to the machine shop. Get it done, then I'll get a cam later. Like I said, I ain't too much worried about it and we already got top end accessories and all that good stuff so that's a good thing uh only thing i'm gonna have to change out is uh the converter the torque converter we're gonna have to change the torque converter out because obviously the cam gonna be different from what the cam in there now so we're gonna have to change the torque converter out and possibly go back in the transmission or uh, let dj put some uh some some tougher stuff in there some Upgraded stuff inside the transmission car. I already know it's gonna make more power. That's a given. It's gonna obviously make more power. So we're gonna step the transmission up. Uh, transmission was built, but uh, just regular little little uh, mild shift kit and all that. Just mild package. Just show y'all. You know, DJ do different. So time transmission, different package. So we got the mild package in this one. You know, we got the more radical package in John Jones. Uh. Big Meats getting a radical package. Obviously, it's going to have an Ultra Bell. Because none of my cars got Ultra Bells on them. So, I'm going to show you how DJ get down with the Ultra Bell. So, Meats will have an Ultra Bell on it. Uh, Dolo 400. Everything, everything. All of my cars that I actually run got 400s in them, man. People are asking me all the time what transmission good. If you want to make some power, use a 400. If you want to drive it still. Like, I like three speeds. Some people complain about RPM. I don't. I mean, if you got a good engine, it don't matter. Uh, so, like I said, Meats, Meats getting, getting the 400 done. Y'all know we got the 700 came out of Meats, but we're getting the 400 done. Uh, John Jones 400, Dolo 400. It was 350. Y'all saw what I did that. I busted that all to piece with the budget motor. So we busted the 350 all to piece. It was a showtime, boy. It went to heaven. Then we put a, a 350 in here. We had a 350 in here. We sold it, remember? It was just a regular stock rebuild, and I got to have Showtime everything. So y'all need the transmission work, man. Hit up Showtime Transmission. Most of y'all done got the memo and already use them. Showtime Transmission. That's the contact. Y'all seen from mile to while. In the end of the year, y'all see what kind of time I lay down on these transmissions and stuff. But they they lay down some time. And y'all drive that, tram brake, reverse manual valve body, the whole nine. And I drive it everywhere. Beat the mess out of it on the street and beat the mess out of it at the track. And y'all know it go, it's, it's good. So, yep. So, uh, we're gonna wait to Brady pull up, load this up on his truck, and then we're gonna check back in. All right, y'all. So, we checking in the next day. I was gonna record this all on the same day, but then I was like, man, the stuff gotta dry and all of that. I'm gonna show y'all the finished product with the store, man. I'm talking about dead. A nice job for real. I'm talking about highly, highly satisfied. They got down on this underpinning, man. I'm gonna give y'all the story too on everything I had to go through with this, man. I'm talking about so much of a headache. But look at it, man. I'm talking about this. It look good. It look even better. I ain't show y'all before, before it dried, but man it's nice stuck on and that was uh that was that was a uh, thomas ideal to stuck on it he was like it'll look better you want better to see the bricks glad we went with that man look good now you ain't got to worry about no snakes getting under then like i said he suggested the vents and stuff and stuff too to keep the floor from riding moisture uh building up you know in there so it's just good dealing with people man that know their stuff ain't gonna do the job like I'm talking about it actually looks good, man. Like, it looks nice. I'm talking about did a great job. So, y'all, go all the way around. All the way around. 
Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, man, we got four vents. That look good, man. I'm talking about that look good. Skew the wind, though. But yeah, we finally got the story on the pin. Oh, they're gonna come back. He gonna come back. We'll get him come back and do a ramp. Only reason we can go ahead and get it done, cause we gotta decide on how we want to do it. We're gonna get a ramp so we can, uh, you know, use a hand truck if we need to put stuff in there and all of that. Already been moving some of the stuff, man. But it's a, it's a job, man. It's a job. Gotta finish moving the stuff in there. But man, it looks so nice. And that little stuff right there, man, it just wipe off. It just dust. See? It just wipe off. You gotta come out here and wipe it off. From where they was all uh, working and cutting the blocks and stuff. And all of that. But let me tell y'all the story of this, man. So, <laughs> we let my father-in-law try to find two people at first. And my father-in-law, man, hey, he, he the kind, he the type. He'll just, he gonna try to say as much as he can. So we let him try to do it. He said he knew some guys. Long story short, they were BSing around. Oh, uh, so and they were like, one guy was like, buy these caps right here, which he used all of them. They ended up being the right one, though. I had a stack right there. It was two, 240-something dollars. So then that guy played around. He didn't do nothing. So, okay, here it is, $240 spent on caps. And then, uh, then my wife, Wifey was um wifey was walking one day exercise and she saw the the guy and the guy the guys they were doing some work at a school so you know you see some guys doing work at a school you would assume they all the way official right so she got the contact information from one of the guys or uh, told her what we wanted done and all that so I contacted the guy and uh the day he told me gonna come through he didn't come through he came two days later and he just popped up I ain't even know it was coming he just popped up so. I just happened to be here, right? And uh, came out, looked at it, quoted me a price. Everything told me to get these cap blocks, the solid cap blocks. The one you see, the ones right there got the holes in them. He told me to get the solid cap blocks, which y'all saw the vlog about a hundred of them. Okay, y'all saw I moved all the cars because he was supposed to come over the weekend. While we was in Texas, and I was like, nobody's gonna be around to move the cars and stuff. So I went and moved the cars to Jesse. So long story short, we in Texas. I get back Sunday. We we land Sunday. We come back home. Like I call him. I'm like, okay, dude, I'm just checking on to see how everything going. He ain't even been over here. He tell me uh he got caught up on a job or something, and uh he was gonna come the next day, which would be Monday. Never showed up. So here it is now, I'm like, okay. I done went through all of that. I didn't even have to move the cars today. They didn't inconvenience me, cost gas, cause we didn't have to do all that. And then, you know, still ain't talking about nothing. So all I do when I'm dealing with people, whether it's with the cars or with a shop or anything, all I do is go on a person word. If they tell me two weeks, I don't mess with them for two weeks. That's it. Same thing with me. If I tell a person, I give them a realistic time frame, or if it ain't, or if I don't feel like I'm going to do it, I'm going to give myself some extra time and then just contact me then. That's what I do. I don't bother nobody, house nobody or nothing. Even after they go over their time frame, I don't have some like that. All you got is your word out here. So we do that. I'm like, uh, let me see when we had it done. Today, today, Thursday, Wednesday. Okay. So Tuesday, Tuesday, another guy came, which is. Thomas, I'm gonna say his name called this. Um, this who I'm finna be dealing with. He popped up Tuesday, right? I didn't even know who he was. I'm like, who are they pulling up out here? He popped up Tuesday, and uh, he was telling me, uh, the guy, I ain't even gonna call his name. Said, end up telling the other guy called. When they came, it was two guys. It was two guys that came out here together. Uh, the guy that was doing the job, his name is D. We're gonna call him D. And he came with another guy named E. So, he was figuring up the numbers. He like, I'm not doing the job though. So Thomas, which is the guy that did this, he said E told him that D had said he wasn't gonna do the job. But did D contact me? Nope. He ain't contact me saying, AJ, I'm not gonna do the job. I'm not gonna get time to do it. 
it was brought to me that D just straight said, I'm not going to do the job. You can pass to so-and-so. So, so you know, Thomas out here, I'm in the blind. He he just popped up because he was like, man, they telling me the person got the money and ready. And he said, man, I don't know, man. He said, I'm just going to come out and see what's going on, talk talk to the customer, which is me. We got to talking, put everything in perspective. I said, okay. He showed me his work. I was like, okay, he here. I'm going to try him out. I like what he was showing. So he asked me when I ready. I said, ASAP. This was Tuesday. This was just this Tuesday. I said, ASAP. And uh, he said, well... I can, he gave me the price. I was like, hey, let's, let's do it. I'm ready. He said, I'll be out here tomorrow about 8.30, which was yesterday. 8.45, he was here. 8.45, he was here. Him and his son, they went to work. I went to school with two of his sons. We went to school together. I knew I knew uh, when he came out here, I knew his son. I was like, oh, that my boy. You know, we went to school together. But I didn't know that was their dad. So 8.45 yesterday, he came out here. Here, here we is right here. They got it done in one day. Happy, man. Good serve. So, you know, if y'all need this stuff done, y'all need stuff like this done, concrete work, he gonna pull my slab. The other guy, D, D was gonna pull my slab. He missed out on that. So, you know, I'm just gonna say this, man. When you're dealing with customers, man, good customer service. Because you don't know what you're gonna miss out on. I'm a good customer with anybody I deal with. Anybody. Most of the time, I pay people ahead, and I be getting stuck, like, I be getting stuck, man. I be done paid $1,000 out, and I still ain't got stuff done or whatever, or, but, you know, I don't trip. I don't trip, so I'm a good customer. So he just missed out on blessing from not doing good business. He just missed out on two other jobs and probably future jobs. Like, we already about lock in on another job. That's his loss. And, you know, Thomas, real respect for dude, he was like, I don't want to. I don't step on people's to, uh, toes and stuff. Basically saying he don't backdoor people, and I respect that. But I'm like, I'm like, man, God the one brought you here, really. I said, you ain't backdooring nobody. Because E had said he's not going to do the job. They was going to, I had, I had got a price quoted for the concrete slab. And, uh, well, I said name anyway. David, he was going to do the job. But uh, he didn't. <laughs> he didn't. So Thomas got the job. Thomas going to get the job. So that's what's going on, man. So I just want to give y'all the rundown on all them went around. But it, it just did what happened when you're dealing with people, man. I had spent $240, first set of blocks, $280 right there. You know, I had $500 in blocks, and look at what's left. Now I got to take them back, call. Tom got over here said, you really didn't need them kind. You really need them kind, Jay. And then, now I got to take them back. So I got to fool with getting them on the truck and all that. I done paid for delivery, all type of stuff, man. Resting call. Thinking he was going to come over the weekend. Here it is. Didn't have to rush and do that. So, you know. But, uh, hey, man. <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all, look. I'm going to tell y'all, man. We're going to have to go. We're going to have to holler at, uh, we're going to have to holler at my boy Billy Thornton, man. He's supposed to be coming through, too. So, we're going to see what old Billy ho ho uh, talking about. I'll turn y'all back on when he get here. Y'all stay tuned. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> that damn Jay Malcolm, he done gave me this here camera. And I'm boy, I tell y'all something. That 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 slaughter. I, I hey, Jay Malcolm called me, and he told, and I told him, you know what, we're gonna take that there little crazy and that little Mikey. And I told you we're gonna suck the alternator clean from off on him. Now I'd be damned if that's what we did. <laughs> that's what we did. We sucked the alternator clean from off on him. Sure did. With this here beauty right here, I'm telling you, boy, that old that old H4 up under the hood, it's working. It ain't no, I don't, I ain't never heard of a V8, but that old H4 up under this hood, it's doing something, something majestic, I tell you. I tell you, look, I told that day Malcolm, son, I'm going to bring you a goddamn gift. And this is what I brought him right here. I said, because you took a damn sledgehammer to that car. <laughs> you took a sledgehammer to that car and, whew. boy, I tell you, I said, I didn't expect you to do him like that, but it's okay. Then I seen his post, he tried to shorten the race up. He said we ran the eight, we ran the eight the mile. That was 330 feet. Hell, he needs to add a whole another 330 to that. I don't know what's going on. We might go out there and walk it off. I told Jay Malcolm, I said, hell, I got a tape that'll stretch from from here to Europe. We can walk it off and, and we can count it off and all. But yeah, I told him I brought him this here gift. I told him, hey, you took a sledgehammer, clean it to it. I said, no paint man needed. <laughs> I told I told him, son, I said, hey, from there on. 
You tell them, you tell them them brown coat gang that be in your comments, you tell them the, the comment on his page, no paint needed. That's what it is. NPN, no paint needed, cause we took the wrench clean to him. I told him, well, we put that wrench in that tailpipe. Hell, next time he let me drive it. He, he let me drive it. I tilt that thing on two wheels like them old A-Raps do over there. I'll tell you something serious. I'll tell you. Well, I, told, I hope they Malcolm man enjoyed this gift. Uh, he took a sledgehammer clean into him. I tell you, but look, listen here. This thing here is getting heavy. Oh, hell, I'm going to have to give this back to Jay. He's up in the house in the AC. I'm going to have to give it back to him. This thing here is heavy, but he took a sledgehammer clean into him, and he stuck that old ranch in the tailpipe, and the alternator fell clean from under that car. Well, maybe maybe that, that little Mikey, he needs two alternators. Somebody give him two alternators. Maybe he needs some milk in that bottle he got back there in the trunk. Maybe use the milk. Maybe it'll help him out a little better. Hell, I don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm going I'm to see y'all later, man. I got to give this back to Jay Malcolm. All right, y'all, goddamn, I'm still here. Hell, how you work this thing? Let me see, I'm touching some of everything. Hell, I don't know how to work this thing. Still here, Billy Thornton don't know how to work all that. Damn, I don't know how to work this thing. Just like somebody needs to tell a little crazy to work that shifter. <laughs> I don't know how to work this camera, though, I tell you. That, that little crazy, I might as well talk a little more while I'm here. Hell, Jay's still in there. I don't know, he might be taking a 10 20 on the bathroom or something. Hell, I don't know. But <laughs> somebody needs to tell him, hey, you ain't skipped no gear, buddy. You just went past the gear. That's all you did. You you jumped. You got an automatic transmission. It went from first to second to John Jones fadeaway. That's what happened. <laughs> it went from first to second to John Jones fadeaway. That's what happened. So I tell you what, hey man, looks like I don't know how to work this machinery right here. You gotta, you gotta learn how to work that shit, the birdie. Tell you, tell your cousin, he'll tell you how to work that shit, the buddy. Then maybe you won't go from first to second to John Jones fadeaway. Yeah, that's what's going on. All right, y'all, we checking in, man. I can't, man, I came back out, came out the house, man. Billy Thornton take, talking all type of junk. Someone he know how to work the camera and all that, but that man, that's a, that man, that trip, boy. Hey, he gone, man. Billy Thorne gone, man. He got, I told him he got to go, man. You talking a little too much, John. But, <laughs> but anyway, anyway, man, look. It's a little laid back vlog. Like I said, it really about the storage, man. I really want to update y'all on storage and show y'all that. It looked nice and all that, man. Get y'all the storage to run around. The storage behind that. Uh, and look, probably tomorrow... I'm going to have, uh, we're going to shoot some more cinematic uh, vlogs. And if you haven't saw my last vlog, man, they, I, I dropped on my J. Malcolm 2004 Rise channel, man. I'm, I'm going to slowly, I'm going to slowly start back dropping on J. Malcolm 2004 Rise. But it's going to be like once a week and my most cinematic stuff where I actually take longer to edit and shoot, which I did the drifting, man. We was at the little drift, little thing, man. It's on lit. It was lit. If you ain't saw that video, you need to go over there. Them boys were getting down. And uh, you know, it's it's a little little movie, like it's a night vlog. So I'm gonna start dropping once a week over there, like more high production stuff, cause y'all know I got all the equipment. This right here is just my daily day to day <clears throat> day to day stuff, man. You know, my real BCG. So we're gonna be back dropping on J Mac 2004 ride. That way I ain't drop over here yesterday. But uh yeah, we're going we're gonna to break out that mount, and I ain't even showed it to y'all, man. Y'all going to see the shots. It's going to, and when I do it, it's probably going to be on J-Mac 2004 Rides, but we're going to put it on Rhythm and Blues, get it all hooked up and all of that. Then we're going to be going to Summit, spin the bag, because we're going to put Big Meats together. And then we're going to, we put Big Meats together, it's going to be on. We had all four running. Uh, Big Dolo, people asking. I don't know. I'm just going on what I get told, man. Uh. Maybe Big Dolo be back next week. I don't know. I definitely want to get it back before uh before uh we have to uh take off. Uh -oh. I definitely want to get it back for then and stuff, you know. Cause it really got a lot a lot of the content I got coming for y'all is behind Big Dolo. Cause it's the newer car. Y'all know how it go. When I start up something else, then we'll be on that. But I got a lot of video playing out for y'all for Big Dolo and all that. Uh, especially hitting the track and stuff, man. Laying it down, spray, spray the house down, and all that. And then we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna eat up little Mikey with that one too. I'll show y'all the movie, y'all. Some of y'all just don't know what's about to happen. Y'all don't know what's about to happen. And then we're gonna get him with Big Meats too. And then whoever else fall in line with True Street Car. Cause I get tired of people thinking they know everything. 
Y'all just don't know, man. Me and my cousin on team. This be entertainment. The racing ain't fake. Y'all stop saying that, man. Some of y'all think y'all know everything, don't know nothing. And I just speak on it, and then people get mad when I speak on it. All J this and that. And Jay be like, forget y'all at the end of the day, you really don't know. But I just speak on it. That what I do. Y'all don't know everything, man. Y'all grown men, y'all don't know nothing. Some of y'all, some of y'all my people. I done met some of y'all, y'all solid. Folk be doing all that capping. We on here doing all that capping, man. Man, cuz on team, man, they're my family. We talk junk online. We talk junk on video. That's entertainment. We're not going to get seared behind that. We don't fall out. We get on the phone, and then we top it up about other stuff. But y'all, y'all think the stuff fake. The cars are actually performing. We out there really racing. Y'all be capping in the comments, some of y'all. Then get mad at me because I speak on it. Don't get mad at me. Get mad at yourself. Crazy, man. <laughs> Crazy man, y'all gonna learn if you ain't learned me by now. I'm outspoken. I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak my mind, and if it, if you right here in front of me, I'm gonna say the same thing. That's it. So that's that's how you supposed to operate as a man. So hey man, that's just how it go. Say entertainment. The racing not entertainment. The racing real, but the track talking and all that, the pictures, the memes, all this stuff entertainment. Now at the end of the day, we on team. Now. For the people that talking rightly, y'all think y'all choosing a side, we'll get on y'all head if y'all got true street car. That's just what it is. We will get on y'all head if y'all got true street car. And we got a lot of time zones covered. Now you can take that how you want to take it. We got a lot of time zones covered when you're talking about eighth mile race with the cars we own. Not no, I, like I said, I had people try to race me a motorcycle, man. Come on now. But, but John Jones slow, but I got motorcycle get thrown at. It's full born every day. They probably gonna say big meat slow until they get beside it. Somebody said J. Malcolm, oh, uh, uh, he idiot said J. Malcolm fed by himself. A lot of people fed by themselves. What car in my class then, then, then tried to sit beside me? Nobody. Then I'm not racing nobody, don't fool me for real. And you got a real grudge behind me, then it lead to something else. Why would I do that? But. I'm cool to race anybody. Like, I'm gonna go to track, right, friend the race, this and that. But when I sit beside somebody that kind of, kind of fast, decent fast, and then they see what my car do, folks already know what time it is. Some people already know. Y'all gonna see at the end of the year, a lot of people that guess what ET or think they know what ET my car run gonna be way off. I promise you, they're gonna be way off. Especially when they get and see what the big box do, they're gonna be off on that. And when they see what they're gonna do, Surprise, surprise. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, that's it, man. That's it. We're going to catch y'all later, man. I'm finna go in the house and chill out. It's real hot. And uh, I'm going to catch y'all later.